So then, we just had the announcement of iOS 18, and the great news is that you can get all of those brand new features today with using the developer's beta, and I'm going to show you how to do this. So the great news is the developer beta is available all the way from the iPhone XS, like I've got here, and the XR models, all the way up to the iPhone 15 series, like the iPhone 15 Pro Max that I have right here. And today I'm going to show you how to sign up for a developer's account because it's completely free to do so and also download the betas onto your iPhone today. The only thing I want to say here is a word of caution, guys. If you're downloading a beta onto your iPhone, I would definitely, definitely make sure that you back up your devices. And the way to back up your devices for betas is that you do need a Windows computer or a Mac or a MacBook like we have right here. And you will need to use the actual MacBook software or the Apple Music software, also known as iTunes to do this. And I'm gonna show you how to do that too. But first of all, let me show you how to sign up to a developer's account first of all. So what you want to do is you want to go to this website we're on at the moment, what is developer.apple.com. So I'll put that as a link down below in the description of this video. That is all you have to go to. So you just have to go to developer.apple.com. And then once you're there, you just have to click on account here. And if you're already signed in, you will see this page here. If not, all you have to do is you just need to sign in with your iCloud account. So this is the same account that you've logged in to say on your iPhone right now or your iPad. Same account, just sign in on that, become a developer and you get to this page. You don't need to buy a membership or anything like that. You just need to get to this page that you're seeing right here and it is easy as that. So once you have your developer's account all set up, what we can do next of all is actually back up our iPhones on the current sort of software that they're on now. So if you're on iOS 17, make sure you're up to date on the latest version of iOS 17 right now on your iPhone. So do that first of all, and then after that, you can connect it up to your Mac or your PC via a cable. So with the iPhone 15 series, this will be a USB-C to USB-C or USB-A. And then with an iPhone, you need to do this with a lightning to USB-C or to a USB-A end. It doesn't matter which, as long as that you've connected both your phones or one of your phones up to your actual MacBook or your PC, that's all what matters. And also that you need to make sure that you have the Apple Music app, what's also formerly known as iTunes, either on your Windows PC or on your Mac. If this is the first time you've connected, say, your iPhone to your Mac or your MacBook or Windows PC, you may get a message like this. All you need to do is just press allow. What you may also get is a message on your phone to say trust it. So we want to press trust on this. And then after this, it's going to ask you to type in the device passcode to do so. And this might be a password or whatever. Put this in and then this will allow the communication between your iPhone and also your Mac or PC. Next of all, what you want to do, if you're on a PC, you'll want to open up Apple Music, or what you'll want to do is you'll want to open up Finder on a Mac like here, and then you want to go down to your iPhone. And also in Apple Music, you will see the same option of your iPhone appearing on the side or in the devices at the top corner. So you want to select your actual iPhone. Once you've selected your iPhone, what you want to do is you'll want to do a local copy onto your Mac. You do not want to do an iCloud backup. If you do an iCloud backup, it just won't work for you. What means? What I mean is you won't be able to restore backwards again. So if you're on iOS 17.51, you do an iCloud backup and then go to um, iOS 18 and then want to revert back to 17.51, you cannot do this by an iCloud backup. It has to be done on the actual iPhone. So what we have to do is actually select this button here, back up all the data of your iPhone to this Mac. And then once you've done that, we can click back up now. And then what we can do is we can leave this run. And if you do get a code option or password option on your phone, put it in again and then leave the backup run. So once you've done all of those previous steps, and I mean all of those previous steps, especially with backing up, you'll want to go to settings. And when I said about the backing up, what I mean by that is you need to back up your iOS onto a MacBook or onto a PC. So that's what you need to do. You need to back up your iPhone with iOS 17 or whatever you're on 
onto a MacBook or a Mac or a PC. And if you skipped over that part, make sure you go back because if you do this update to beta and you want to go back because you feel that the beta is unstable, you won't be able to reverse back unless you've done those previous steps. So make sure you definitely do those steps. So next of all, after you've done that and also subscribed or signed up to the actual sort of developers program, you want to go to general. And then where we want to go to is we want to go to software update. And like I say again, as long as you've done that backup, like we talked about earlier. So this is the backup, like I said, on a MacBook or a Mac or PC or anything like that. Make sure you step back to the video on that to watch those steps. And then you want to click software updates. What you want to do then is to refresh here. And what you should actually get here is you should get a brand new iOS developer beta. Your email address, I've got mine covered up as you can see right here, should appear as well. And that's if you've signed up correctly with the same iCloud account. But what we can do is we can now click the iOS developer beta, click back here, and then as you can see we can press update now now if you don't see this option what might have happened is is that you might not have the developer betas off it might be switched off like this so you might need to just turn it on on here but once you've done that everything should be working fine and then you can click update now it might ask you for your password or your code so i'm just going to put mine in and then after that what will happen it will start to download ios 18 beta onto your iPhone or onto your iPad and you can leave this run now, let it finish, make sure you have enough juice on your iPhone, like I'm at 100% at the top here, or leave your charger plugged in. Either way, this is how you download iOS 18 beta. Let this finish and we'll see the results at the end. And once the restart has all been completed and everything is installed, we can see here now, let me just unlock it. There we go. Your phone's been updated to iOS 18. So what we're going to do is we're just going to unlock this now. And we're now on the new iOS 18. Let's just show here that we are on it here. So we're on the new, ooh, look at this. This is the new control center. This is awesome. So there we go. We can scroll through here, all the different sort of options there. We can add new things and things like that. That looks really, really, really cool. And then let's say we want to move our apps around. So I've got the new passwords here. So if I go and click on the passwords here and I can move it anywhere that I want to. So I can just drop it here if I want to down the bottom. If it does it for me now. There we go. Or let's say I want it over on the other side over here. Let's try that again. There we go. I've got all of those abilities, so you can have a great play around with iOS 18. It looks absolutely amazing. And there we have it, folks. That is iOS 18 installed on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And just to show you here, guys, they did even say at the Apple event that the new sort of Apple intelligence AI abilities are not coming just yet, but you are going to be ready with your beta installation. Just to show you here, if I press down the button here, you can see we've got the old school Siri here down the bottom. So yeah, it's not been updated to the brand new Siri version with Apple intelligence. But like I said, you can install iOS 18. You can check out all those brand new features that were also mentioned at WWDC 2024. And you can install it on all the way down to an iPhone 10s or a 10s Max or even the 10R, the same phones that worked with iOS 17 last year, they are compatible with iOS 18. It's just those new AI abilities that are coming further on down the line. They will only work with the iPhone 15 Pro, the iPhone 15 Pro Max, and of course, I'm sure it'll happen with the iPhone 16 too when it comes out later on this year. But with that, guys, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. So if you have enjoyed it, please do press the like button. And also, if you want to hear the latest guides, news, reviews, and comparisons, please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell too. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.